So this video we're looking at relative velocity. Uh, I've recently done some vector ones and it fits in kind of nicely with there. But we'll start off in general with relative velocity. What is relative velocity? We talk about the velocity of A relative to B. Let's have two cars, uh, two cars, bricks on wheels if you like, that are travelling um, towards each other. This is the same situation as you travelling down the highway um, with a car coming towards you and you're going towards them and uh, if you're both traveling 100 kilometers per hour and then we know that if you have a head-on collision it'll be effectively a 200 kilometer per hour collision so um, relative velocity is kind of the adding of velocities but in this case on the left hand side here um, if we have one that is traveling um, we, we would define this direction as positive since that is the direction that A is travelling. Um, and if we just arbitrarily give them some numbers, we'll make that one 5, and this one can be 10 uh, meters per second, or centimeters per second, kilometers per hour, whatever you like, it doesn't matter at this point. Um, but uh, So what we're looking for is the velocity of A relative to B, A rel B, and what that means is the velocity um, of a, what's it? Ah, as seen by B. Okay, I had that a little bit around the wrong. Seen by B. So language is very important. You might think velocity of A relative to B is just what B seems to be going compared to A, but it's actually the velocity of A as seen by B, compared to B, relative to B. Okay, so instinctively we would know uh, that if you're an observer standing on, standing on B and you're watching, that um, relative to you, um, A is coming towards you at 15 uh, units. Okay, so um, that would that would give you a uh, a bit of a baseline, and from that, which is our one-dimensional example, we can form a rule. So let's just see if we can we can do that a little bit. Um, so we know we're aiming for 15 units in the same way that with the um, cars oncoming both on the highway at 100 kilometers per hour it seems to be 200 kilometer per hour relative velocity um, of A to B or B to A in that case. Um, for this one up the top here, um, where it's a velocity of A as seen by B. So if we're trying to do a calculation, uh, velocity of A relative to B, we know that the answer is 15, it seems to be coming towards at 15, that creates that as the positive direction like I've said, so in that direction is positive because, um, let's write that little plus in so that we know what it is, um, and that's going to equal some calculation to do with those, and um, we're, we're adding the velocity of B, or negative velocity of B, which is 10, uh, and the velocity of um, A, which is 5 and uh, all the negative of the velocity but we have to end up with positive 15 now the problem with uh, velocity of B and velocity of A adding them A is in the positive direction and B is in the negative direction okay so uh, B is going to be a negative value because it's in that direction negative negative so to get a positive number we're going to end up having to add a positive 10 somehow okay so velocity of A relative to B what we might look at doing is then the velocity of A, which is still positive 5, plus negative the velocity of B. So in this situation that's going to give us a double negative kind of thing. We'll have plus the negative of negative 10, which means we end up with um, 15, or 5 plus 10, because the double negative cancels out, giving us our 15 uh, units that we're expecting from a common sense. So this is how we work in physics. We often start with a common sense simple example and build our way up to something a little bit trickier. Okay, let's just run through that again really quickly. Um, we've started with negative uh, 10 here and 5 here. Maybe we should list that negative on there. Um, and so negative 10 and 5. And we know that if you're sitting on B and you're looking at A, so we want to see the velocity of A as seen by B, it's going to be coming towards you with um, 15 meters per second or 15 units. We'll stick with um, so uh, how have we done that? We've gone for um, the, this 5 velocity of A plus the negative of 10 or the negative of a negative 10 which means we add it so it becomes a velocity of 5 plus 
So if we're doing it as a vector calculation, um, vector calculation, what we've ended up doing, and we'll write this as a rule in a nice bright colour, um, our rule for the velocity of A relative to B has been the velocity of A, which is a positive, minus the velocity of B. And in this case, it gives us the minus of the negative. But anyway, that's our rule. We're going to stick with that, and we're going to move on to a two-dimensional example. Uh, is that all we want? Two-dimensional example, and then we want to check the two-dimensional example. So there's a classic book and um, a classic example of a motorcycle um, rider. Let's uh, give him blue. Um, and see if I can draw a rough motorbike here. Um, boom, boom. There you go, and there's a rider sitting on it, and something like that. Okay, anyway, motorcycle rider, and he's going along at 10 meters per second, which is about 36 kilometers per hour. It's very slow, and it's raining. So this is an example, I think, from the virtual textbook, Dennis Virtual's um, book, which I don't know if it's been updated, but this is in there. And what we're interested in is the velocity of the rain relative to the cyclist, to, to the bike, we'll say. So velocity of the rain relative to the bike. The rain's falling um, at, let's just keep it really simple, um, 5 meters per second. In fact, we'll make this 20 meters per second. I'm going to do a bit of a 3-4-5 triangle on here. So 20 meters per second, and we'll make this 15. So then we've got the ratio of a 3 4 5 triangle that we can use for our calculations. Okay, um, so velocity of the rain relative to the bike. Um, from our previous example, VA minus VB, we're going to have the velocity of the rain minus the velocity of the bike. Now in this case, being a two-dimensional example, we can't do positives and negatives in the same way because it's vectors. We just have to adjust um, the direction of the vector. So let's go ahead and do this. Velocity of the rain is this way at 15. And negative the velocity of the bike. So the velocity of the bike is that way. So negative velocity of the bike is going to be in this way. Negative 20 or it's actually not negative 20 but it's just negative that way. So negative velocity of the bike is this way. And therefore the resultant which is the velocity of the rain relative to the bike um, is, is this part of the arrow down there. I'm not going to label it because it's a very long and clumsy labeling. Okay, and you can find the angle, uh, that's a right angle triangle of course, and give a very specific answer. Remember vector has a magnitude, the length of it, and a direction. We know the magnitude from a 3, 4, 5 triangle. There's a 3 ratio, 3 5s are 15, 3 5s are 20, so this is going to be 25 uh, meters per second, 25 meters per second, the finer points on an iPad doesn't work that well does it, but you get the idea, um, and uh, at an angle which if I'm remembering my values correctly um, should be 37 degrees I think there's that. You can look it up. It's a special problem. We'll memorize it because it'll be useful. And obviously, I haven't memorized it as well as I should have. But um, and checking. So last thing is checking before we get way, way, way too long with our video. Um, to check it, if you are riding towards, um, you can just pretend you're on a bike. But if you are riding um, towards the rain and the rain's coming down towards you. Um, the rain has the negative of this, like it seems to be coming towards you with the opposite if you were kind of just looking at the rain and not looking at yourself traveling along, along the road. But it also has the downward part, the rain's coming down, and it would definitely appear to be going straight into your face and being really annoying. So that's the checking. You can do a certain amount of checking, but what it really comes down to is memorizing our little formula there that the velocity of A relative to B is velocity of A minus B. If you're not good at memorizing the formula, um, you can go back to a simple one-dimensional case like we have um, seen seen up here, because that, that the formula works nicely for that. And then um, once you memorize either memorize that or use the simple one-dimensional case, um, you just add them as as vectors. Make sure you've got the vectors um, very clearly shown. Your negative is in the opposite direction, and you just perform the calculation, work it through, nice and easy.